Good morning guys. Welcome to my January orchid update. Mostly I will show a lot of blooms and maybe some of the spikes. I don't know where to begin. Look at that. Okay, let's begin here with my um that one catches my eyes. It's my dendrobium. Yellow canary yellow song canary. Look at the blooms and some spikes, um, a buds right there. Look at that. Beautiful golden yellow. It's a leaf falling off. And we still have a lot of buds coming up right there. Look at that, guys. Wow, it's so amazing. Look at this throat right here. It's a darker yellow. And they make it so spectacular to look at. Look at that. It's like frilly blooms. Wow. It's it's unscented right now. I don't know. Um, Sometimes I can smell a slight scent in it, but not right now. But this one right here beside it is my Dendrobium kingianum. Um, it's got a lot of um, um, spikes right now. Some are open, some are not yet. Look at that. This one smells nice. It's, it's not very um, overpowering. And right here, the Dendrobium um, Oriental Smile Fantasy Butterfly. It's still... Um, okay, I can see the color of the... Of, of this um buds already it's showing it's nice and behind it i have some more buds right there from a kiki yeah it's nice and right here is the dendrobium red emperor yeah I got some buds that a lot of them that it hasn't opened yet like uh this one, the dendrobium, it's it's very compact. Dendrobium is um spring bird kurashiki, lots and lots of um buds right there, everywhere in this uh, little little pot. This one right here, I got so much buds in here. And uh, my my husband came in here and then knocked this um plant over and then I lost some of the buds and this one's gonna blast. Yeah, so that's that. Oh, that's okay. And some of the buds here, I I have some some of them um blasted as well. Some of the buds because like um. The winter here is like terrible this time of the year and it's not a lot of snow but the temperature is so low. We got a few days of um in a in the negatives zero, negative one, negative three, things like that, and the wind chill sometimes reaches negative twenty three. Oh my god, it was this it's terrible guys it's so cold and i left the little heater in this room for night and day and the some of the sensitive buds like this cymbidium here just blasting away i can't see it clearly because of the backlighting hang on a lot of my buds in this cymbidium this cymbidium here is um sensitive more sensitive than the others. This one lost a lots of buds, but some are making it. Look at that! It's um, it opens. Uh, this is a yellow green with yellow lip. And this spike in here, the one that has thirty buds in it. Oh my God! It blasted. Only a few had opened, but I still have one spike on it. That's perfect. But the one right beside it, it is stronger. The all the five spikes 
are getting um, better. Some are open, some are not. Look at that. These are the three spikes that got mushed together in there because I, I did not move this spot at all. It's just the temperature changes in here. Yeah. Yeah, this one in this spike right here. Open. Uh, it opened right there in the top. It's a yellow green with white lip with a uh, yellow yellowish pickles in the labellum. That one right there is perfect. It's like um open already. All all of that one in the spike. Yeah. Look at that guys. It is um uh, yellow green with white lip. Very nice. Look, look at that. So gorgeous. And that one over there that's in the hanging pot. There's a two spikes of the oncidium right there. So nice. And back to my uh, cymbidiums. This is the yellow. She always bloom for me. And the, bloom long, the blooms are long lasting as well. It just started opening. She's yellow with um, red lips. Look at that. It's not all the way just started. This one's about to pop open. Yeah. This is the one that has um that has a slight scent. Let's see. Yeah, I can smell it right now too. <laughs> smell it right there. It's not as perfumey as I remember it. It's like um ah, it's uh, I can think of like a uh, grassy something, but usually this is floral when it's open all the way and it's outside. Yeah. Yeah, it's not open all the way. Maybe because it got cold. Don't know, and the other one's right there. Yeah. It started opening as well. Yeah, that's not... Uh, and a different color of cymbidium here. And this one used to be in the corner. And I will put this back in the corner because um it's bright in the background. Um, We can't see it. It's dark if I put it back right now. So after I film this, I put it back in the corner. And for filming right now, so I will. I pull it out for you guys. Two spikes. The first time it, uh, it bloomed for me. But this this one, um, it would never open like wide wider than this. It just this is the way, um, she is. Look at that. But she is gorgeous to me. Yeah. See that, guys. Let me smell. Let me sniff, sniff. Hmm, if she has a slight scent as well. Oh my god, they're amazing. But little scent goes a long way for my nose. I don't like an extremely fragrant um flowers because it hurt my nose. Yeah, but slight fragrance is fine. It's all my symbidiums right there. Yeah. Um my spider orchid has another spike. That's that's really really nice. And this baby in here, the last month's um update, she only had four spike. Now she's got the fifth one popping up right there. That's the fifth one. So let's go. One, two, three, four, fifth spike. Yeah, I'm so happy about this. Is my Rick's Van Delden Pink Bees. She's also fragrant. And there's a getting longer spike right there. And the spike on this baby, the um, Dendrobium chrysotoxum, um, and, I mean, the, the node is growing something. And it, it didn't complete it because it turned yellow. And I'm hoping that next year is going to try and bloom for me successfully again. Uh, this room is just... The, I mean, the temperature changes here killed some of my um, cymbidium buds and 
the other nubbins and stuff like that so but someday they'll give me a nice one this one started opening this din uh, dendrobium that one as well started opening oh my god there's some buds in there started opening they're well shaped um when well formed buds so i hope they don't blast and this one because of the colder temperature in here i think so it never fully opened but i had this bloom last year and it was wide open i just don't want to move them in the other room for now yep this is my um catlia from logis it's my um Putinara Pacific Rainbow. Yeah. It's so nice. It's still, it lasted longer. Um, yeah, longer. It, it's almost a month now when that one opened. Yeah. There, I returned my um pink um cymbidiums. In its place right there so so I told you guys it's darker in there so and this one right here is my sherry baby really it's still going strong more than a month already look at that and it still smells like like a white chocolate yeah look at that guys long spike two spikes yeah sugar baby a uh, sherry baby uh sweet fragrance and this is my giant catatante so far i only see one spike right there I'm hoping there's more because she's kind of like gigantic and I don't feel like um, dividing her. I want her to grow like a bush. Look at that. She's so big. Look at that. <laughs> and let's go inside the house. Oh, look at that, guys. That's my oldest phalaenopsis in there. It went through a lot with me, and uh, it used to be in the bark me uh, mix bark medium. Now in the semi hydro, and she's still she's still alive, giving me flowers. Look at that! Look at the veining on that thing. Yeah. Wow bright in the background and this are uh, this is my hoya hindu rope hoya the curly leaves one yeah and look at that but she gives me flowers here indoors in the winter and she also flowered for me in the summer um summer to fall yeah and right now so far i can see there are only two that's activated look at that they got stuck in the Curliness of the leaf leaves so there just smells nice it's just very long now I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way to um wrap this around in a maybe big pot yeah and right here Look at that spike in this thing. Very, very long. It never stopped blooming. It just kept giving me buds in the in that tip right here. There's a new one. The new one. New one. Very beautiful. Very beautiful um mini fall. Look at that guys. So nice. And this fan of spikes right here. It's progressing nicely that one and the one in the corner right there this one is finally managed to open let's turn it her around let's see huh? 
that's our blue. Yeah. Wow. And this is my um, Dan Drew, I um, mean Alicera, Donald Holiday, Smile Eerie. In a, in a semi hydro. I'm thinking of putting this back in the in the bark medium, but we'll see. We'll see if like you know. I'm really gonna do that. <laughs> I'm so lazy this this time because I have a new hobby that I made. Uh, I did. I do again. Um, it's um, cross stitching. I mean, I did that before cross stitching, and now I came back to it. You know, that's makes making me a bit more busy. And that one right there is the experiment. Nine month, almost ten month experiment now, of the uh, making finding Kiki and the um, phalaenopsis spikes. And look at the moss, guys. <laughs> it's getting longer and longer. It's growing from a from a dried moss, and the spike in there it's growing too. Flower spikes. Wow, huh? That one right there. My phalaenopsis is like, yeah, I have a total of 20 phalaenopsis that's, that's um, putting up buds, 19 or 20, some, something like that. I counted it yesterday. And that one, it started opening. Awesome. There's some there. Yeah. And this cutlia here. That used to be a twin bud right there and the other one blasted. Yeah, my fault, of course. Sometimes I'm so clumsy, I keep touching them, bumping on them, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, this one. And uh, behind her is the Dendrobium burana stripes. Yeah, she's been, she's been um, blooming for quite some time. Yeah. One. And sorry, leave. That sheath had something growing in it, but behind it, look, it's so difficult for me to reach out right there. It's just this one will do. It's the back of the flower, the mini files, and also have a secondary, I mean, a, another primary spike right there. And there are more spikes. I, I have a lot of phalaenopsis spikes. This one, guys, it's a month. It's like or I'm um, close to a month, a few days shy of a month. I'm a couple days shy of a month, and it's still blooming. This is the that's the name, the name tag right there. Signo this Taiwan gold orange. Wow, guys. And she's still. By the way, it's although it's not very strong anymore, but I can still smell her um um scent. Look at this, my beautiful orange swan orchid. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Look at her. She's still at it. Yeah. So proud of this orchid. She's just started opening my gigantic white phalaenopsis. This is um, the tertiary spike right there. Yeah. And it also grown a primary spike right there. Yeah, with lots of buds. Unbelievable. Yeah. And this one just opened like a few days ago after the other one has died in the other plant. This is my Psychopsis Mindenhall Hildos. It's huge. It's got nice yellow in there. Yeah, it's huge. 
and the other cyclopsis uh, papelio they're done it I dropped a few days ago but the other spike already had that getting ready and then this is my cyclopsis um, kalihi green valley try try so much so hard to remember her name look at that so majestic but yellow butterfly she's still at it <laughs> very nice and this oh yeah. yeah that fall right there her spike is getting um longer so i arrange it to to go in the um, stake and it kind of get bent over in the spike because um um it, it's too heavy it keeps producing um new buds right there but it's still going even though it got bended like that it's not broken all the way and i left it alone and it's still thriving and the one right there beside it that spike is getting bigger and the flowers are almost going to be opening yeah and there are um total in there of spikes are five of them yeah and this white one right here the old spike i kept it still so it has a new one right that that one and this four blooms in one inflorescence beautiful beautiful okay let's i'll turn it slowly this is my blc maris glory h and r beautiful yes scented cattleya if you like that kind of cattleya this is great for an or um, orchidist yes beautiful I love this cut yeah Wow, it won't pause. These are the secondary spike that's forming buds as well. Look at that. I got plenty of them now. Yeah. 19 Phalaenopsis. Wow. And while I'm here, I might as well include my um, African Violets Bloom. Look at that. I already picked some of the uh, spent over here. But look at this. Nice. And uh, purple with variegated leaves. Her. Oh my goodness. Very nice. And the queen's lace right here. Yeah. And a bud. Not yet to open. This is my uh, mermaid's kiss. Love that one. This one as well. Yeah. You should go. Yeah. And my seedling of the um, desert rose or Bangkok, it has it's shown on um, the true leaves now. I might, I might, um, I in a few days or a week, I'm gonna transfer this one in a clay pot, little clay pot. Yeah, we'll see if I can grow this one in um, you know, bigger and I can get a nice shapely codex thing like that, but we'll see. And guys, I received a shocking revelation about my Nepenthes. I never grew Nepenthes before. I only grow this one because my husband liked the pitcher. Pitcher plant, the, this pitcher plant. And then he likes that. And it's kind of like, I end up liking this one too. And I, he bought this one so tiny, maybe a couple years ago. And now it's growing in my care. 
and I thought that the pitcher plant is its flower right and then uh, one day I look at when I was watering it I look at there was like um, it was wrapped in this leaf in there and it's just a tiny come out like a showing and it was shady and I thought it was like a an, an egg of a fly or something like insect eggs but and I look at it closely and I realize it was like this one the tip of that thing in there it was like really tight tightly um uh, now on the tip I thought it was an egg of a of um insect but I realized it don't know me that it's a um, flower spike and now it's um a few weeks later a couple weeks later almost three weeks um uh, it stretches to this one I don't know what kind of um flower would they be but it was just really shocking to me at that time a shocking revelation of my Nepenthes orchid. Yes. Oh, by the way, my husband claimed that this is his, but he didn't take care of it. I'm the one who take care of this thing. <laughs> so I think it's mine now. And it flowered. And I thought that, that would be the end of it because I did not see. I thought it would be the end of this plant because, like, um, when it flowered, it was it almost like a... Uh, the one that the terminal something like that you know in that very typical the apex thing but it grow a new extension where the it's gonna produce a new leaf right there that amazes me and she also gave me a new pop pop new pop a baby new baby right there this is the same size as the one that when my husband bought this new baby and look at that, it has a flower and I'm so excited about it. Uh, it's probably, I'd, probably white, I'm just guessing. But, I don't know, you know. Yeah, that's on the Pintis flower spike, guys. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, that's really, uh, I, like, I like the word I said, shocking, because I was really shocked when I saw it. I thought it was uh, an egg. That one right there, the tip, I thought it was an egg of an insect. Yeah, and I hang this one in the corner of the 